What's going on, y'all? It's Scott Pizzle. Sad news this morning that former New York Giants head coach Jim Fossil has died of an apparent heart attack at 71 years of age. For those that didn't know, um, he was the Giants head coach from 1997 to 2003. Um, and just honestly, sad news. It really is. Um, you know, I became a Giants fan in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and by the time Fossil had become the head coach, I was 12 years old. And those teams that he coached uh, really submitted my fanhood for this team. He's more than just a speech, but his speech of, you know, anybody who wants in can get in. Anybody who wants out can get out. This team is going to the playoffs. is just a very unforgettable moment for the Giants' history. And in my opinion, Jim Fossil is a, is a coach – that will always be unforgettable when you talk about New York Giants history. And, and the thing is, is players and coaches are going to come and go, and, and, and some guys you're going to forget, right? I mean, you can't you can't remember everybody. Some guys you're going to forget, you know, that, you know, when you hear their name, you go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, for me, as long as I live, you know, I'll never forget Coach Jim Fossil and, and – he made, he made such a positive impact on me at a, at a young age. Um, you know, the, the Giants, I've, I've always said, you know, rooting on the Giants is more than just being a fan of a team. You know, they've, they've been a positive influence in my life. Uh, they've given me a lot. Um, they've motivated me a lot. And obviously they've, 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 they've bummed me out a lot too, but – um, you know, Coach Fossil was a, a great head coach for the Giants. I mean, had a, you know, even even when, um, even after um, the last season that that wasn't very good, he still had a winning record for for as a head coach. He took the Giants to the Super Bowl, a 2000 NFC champion. I've got a pennant that that hangs on the wall back here because, I, in my opinion, the the 2000 the 2000 NFC Championship game against the Vikings is probably the most complete, one of the most complete and best games in Giants history. It's one of the best games they've ever played. 41 to nothing. I mean, it's, it's arguably one of my favorite games to go back and watch or, or to watch highlights on. It really is. And, and such a well-prepared team that day. And that team couldn't have been hitting on all cylinders. So, um, you know, and then obviously I, I wanted the Giants to go to the Super Bowl so bad after their last trip in Super Bowl 25. I wanted the Giants to go so bad. Never, I heart, I, I, I'd got to the point where I didn't even think that it was going to be possible for the Giants to get back to the Super Bowl. I didn't care. I just wanted to root on, you know, root, root on the team that I, I you know, Love so much, and 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 when they were able to make it in 2000 uh, under his leadership, man, I, it was it was great. It gave me the it gave me um, the taste of of watching my favorite team go to a championship and compete for it. And uh, obviously that didn't work out well, but you know I'm I'm just so proud as a fan of Coach Fossil. And um, all that he all that he did for the Giants, and so you know, um, had some great moments with uh, Kerry Collins and, and getting his career back on you know back in order. And so, you know, in my opinion, like I said, Coach Fossil will always be an unforgettable coach and uh, an unforgettable person among Giants history. So. I uh, just wanted to come on here and 
and give my condolences and 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 hopes that and hope that um, he rests in peace and and prayers to his family and uh, just thank him for all that he did for for the New York Football Giants.